Fifty plus years ago, I visited New Mexico for the first time, and little did I know that I would, a half century later, make it my home. I was a seminarian, taking census on a hot, dusty summer afternoon. I spoke no Spanish, but at one house, the helper who interpreted for me told me the elderly gentleman there wanted to offer me a glass of water. He's sorry, the interpreter said, that he can't offer you anything else. That rich act of welcome has stayed with me for over 50 years. Those who come to Mass on this summer weekend will hear a similar story of kindness. The prophet Elisha and a kind couple who offer him hospitality. The Gospel of Matthew parallels this story. Jesus encourages his audience to practice simple acts of love. Welcome a prophet, a righteous person, a little one, with acts of hospitality and compassion. These acts are certainly easy to carry out, but Jesus precedes them by setting a broader context for service with a trio of hard sayings, one after another in quick succession. Whoever loves father and mother, son or daughter more than me, is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. We must model our lives of service on the example of Christ. Real hospitality, real compassion, may mean adjusting our priorities. When we put Christ first in the person of another who is in need, we're committing ourselves to losing our lives for the sake of Christ and walking with him on the way of the cross, the way of love.